Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and a ton of comparisons on the brand new Chanel Ref de Camellia Highlighter. Chanel just released their Le Blanc 2022 collection here in the United States because it released first in Asia and then we have seen it partially released in Europe, Italy, UK, and now in the United States. And I say partially released because the collection comes with a gorgeous illuminating powder or highlighter, also an eyeshadow quad. There are some lipsticks in the Rouge Coco Flash formulation, also on the Rouge Allure formula. And there there are some other products. I think there's a couple highlighter pens, a couple repromotes. I will be putting an image right here. And honestly, out of the entire collection, I was just attracted by the highlighter. And thank goodness that's the product that became available here in the United States. So I went ahead and placed my order, and here it is. I received it today, so I decided, you know what? <laughs> Let's give it a try because this is so beautiful. I tend to really like the Le Blanc collection. The Le Blanc collection, honestly, is more um, of a collection gear for a very light, like the name says it, Le Blanc, kind of the wide, the light, the sheer type of makeup. Very subdued, very... Um, soft, nothing too much. It's just to emphasize your natural beauty. That's what it is. And therefore, that's why we always see it launching first in Asia. It's kind of like the market that is geared towards not only on the actual sense of the collection, but also on the shade selection. And you can see it also on the eyeshadow palette. I may end up getting it uh, when it comes available here in the United States, which I think what I hear from my essay is that it will be coming mid-March. So we're thinking about perhaps when you see this video in the next five days, one week at the very most. But this illuminating powder is now available at Chanel's website is Ref de Camellia, which is that emblematic flower from Chanel, the Camellia flower. And in fact, today I'm wearing my little Chanel Camellia earrings. This one's I received them for my birthday from my husband and my kids. At, I love the camellia flower. It's just so beautiful. So anyhow, my friends, let me <laughs> just take the beautiful ribbon here. And this is the unicard. This highlighter is made in Italy. It has a shelf life of 18 months and it comes with 10 grams of product. Its price is $80. So let's take a peek right here. Oh, so pretty. I'm just super excited. The highlighter comes also with a little brush. Look at this right here. Have the CC interlace logo right there. Ooh, so pretty. And this feels very, very soft. Mm, super soft and the highlighter comes in the velvet pouch really nice well protected oh, look at that. very classic from Chanel black packaging the logo is in white super classic there's no difference right there and then you press right here let's open it up Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness this is so gorgeous such a beauty such a beauty and by the way if you are new here to my channel I do film in natural light I only have this back light behind me facing my backdrop Oh, yes, 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 yes. You know, it does have a little bit of like a peachy tone with a little bit of beige in it. The embossing is just stunning. It's three-dimensional. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram because believe me that I will be putting images, videos, <laughs> everything that you can imagine and more. Oh, this is just too beautiful. 
it's different than the highlighter that came out. I think it was 2017. Also, it was called Camellia. It wasn't Rough the Camellia. It was Camellia something. Camellia something. But it was really pretty. But this embossing right here wins my heart. Okay, my friends. I have applied already, as you can tell, foundation, concealer, bronzer. I skip the blush for right now because I really want to see how the highlighter looks on my skin tone. If you want to know details about my skin and whatnot, everything will be on the description box below. Foundation matches and whatnot. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Let's swatch it. But I have to. <laughs> You know, before I apply it on my face, let's go into quick comparisons right here. I know, I'm jumping all around because I have it right here on my finger. I was planning to compare it to Perles de Lumière, which was also from that Le Blanc collection of last year. But this one right here was called a blush, an illuminating blush. And I know if you have fair skin tone, this may work as a blush, but for me it works as a highlighter, very subtle highlighter, or as a finishing powder. Lovely shade. I mean, this was from 2021. Okay, this one right here is more golden in tone, even more warmer. This one right here looks on the swatch more beige, champagne, pink, with a little bit of like a white tone to it. Okay, and then I have here Eclat Magnetique. This right here. Okay, this one right here is a little bit cooler in tone and Perhaps even a little bit closer to Aurore de Camellia. Okay, and then I do have, I have so many <laughs> here. Way, way too many. Okay, um, let's do the Cine du Lion. And this one right here is Or Rosé. This is beautiful too. Now, this one right here, it's a little bit closer to Ref de Camellia, the one in my pinky. Let's swatch them. Ref de Camellia, Perles de Lumière, Eclat et Magnétique, Ojos from Le Lyon. This one looks a little bit more right down of the camellia okay there's a couple yeah there's another one right here this is duo de camellias and this has two different highlighters one that is more platinum and one that is more champagne gold tone but this one is these ones are very intense highlighters Yeah, these ones are way more intense. All the comparisons. Let's go into applying it. I'm gonna be using that brush that is included with this highlighter. Mm, I feel so bad about it. Not much. Just gonna tap it. Um, Pretty, very pretty. I'm not sure about this brush. I like it, but I don't know if I like it for a highlighter. So I'm gonna go with a classic one for me. This is Sonia G Mini Cheek. And I will tell you that the beautiful embossing is pretty much gone. It's very subtle very very subtle you can build it up and there you have it look at that definitely has a little bit of pink and beige and beige tends to be warm so it can lean a little bit peach depending on your undertone so i think they did a really nice blend right here of undertones Oh. 
very very natural okay so let me apply that I will talk about it what I think in a minute let's go for something else right here let's go for blush so for blush I'm gonna go with Chanel blush lumiere in peche rose this is from la pausa collection stunning and these has come back in stock so just if you are wondering they are back in stock both of the shades and by the way if I haven't mentioned everything that I'm using today the highlighter if I find any of the products in a stock and the rest of my makeup everything will be on the description box below love this blush and I really love how it diffuses with the highlighter. Now I'm going to reapply the highlighter, not because I need to, but just because I want you to see like the highlighter under the blush. And now let's go back again into it. And I'm just going to apply it over top. And you'll see it's so soft. It melts in the skin. Look at that. I do have texture right here and I don't feel as... Is emphasizing it. Oh, that is very soft. Okay, and then with my purchase, they sent me a sample of the new Rouge Allure Lestre lipsticks. I actually have reviewed them. I have a few right here. I have like four of them. They come in this beautiful casing. They are a little bit more slim. They are also the first chanel lipsticks that they are refillable so like that um you will need to buy at least one of the lipsticks in order for the refill to work because otherwise the mechanism will not twist but i mean regardless if you want to see all the details about this new chanel lipstick it's a completely new formulation i invite you to watch my review after you watch this video right here but anyhow going back to these they sent me um, a sample of a shade that actually didn't, I do not have from again this new lipstick formulation Rouge Allure Lestre and this one is in Rouge Puzant 854 so I'm just gonna give it a go great that it comes with a little brush applicator it's a very Typical Chanel red. Wow, this lipstick. <laughs> it's a it's like having a candy apple <laughs> on my mouth. It's so beautiful. It has a blue base, so your teeth are gonna look like extra white such a fearless kind of red lipstick right here and what i love about this new rouge l'extra lipstick formulation is that it's not your typical satin lipstick it does have a lot more shine it hacks your lips is i like on the shine that the rouge coco bloom offers you but with a little bit more pigmentation and perhaps a little bit more even waxy it has a little bit more of a grip perhaps um, to it but very comfortable and not thick at all wow this shade I like it <laughs> I'm tempted to get another one now and now for the fragrance of the day I'm gonna go with none other than beige from Chanel this is from their exclusive collection such a beautiful fragrance combination of frangipani Honey, Frisha, so beautiful, so delicate, so elegant. I love it so much that I had to get the big bottle. <laughs> Don't judge me right here. Okay, my friends, and now to give you my final thoughts about this highlighter right here. So I have to say that in comparison with all the other highlighters that at least the ones that I have from my collection from Chanel, it has perhaps um, a little bit of similarity with the uh, Le Cine du Lyon, but there's a difference right here. The Ref de Camellia, the new one right here, it has a little bit more of like a 
peachy undertone to it. And I think that's been achieved by having a little bit of that beige undertone, which brings the warmth, and then a little bit of pink in it that brings a little bit of a coolness. And that being said, I think that that will make it very versatile to cater to different skin tones and different undertones. Because like I said, you get a little bit of that beige, that warmth, that it looks just a very slightly peachy, but you still have the pink in it. It's not goldeny, goldeny. It's more of like champagne. And honestly, it looks wet on my skin. Yeah, it looks like if my skin is wet and just looks so pretty. And this is something that is very particular about that Le Blanc collection is that each of the products from the Le Blanc collection, they are made in a very soft, sophisticated way that you can build up according to the intensity that you want to. So this is the same kind of like idea right here that you can go like I did today with very little amount or under your blush and then build intensity until you know you get the desired look. You don't have to go boom, you just go little by little and that's pretty much it. I love, love the formulation, love obviously this 3D embossing is just stunning, stunning, gorgeous. I would say if you have been eyeing it, this is also a collector's piece. So if you like to collect Chanel, love Chanel makeup, I would say do not miss out on it. Um, right now, again, all the links will be on the description box below. It's available for pre-order on Chanel's website. It will ship I think March 22nd, it is the day, but don't miss out. I mean, like if you're planning to get it, at least get one. I don't think you will be disappointed. Now, talking about the little brush. I love the little brush. It looks very pretty, but I don't think it just, yeah, not for this specific highlighter. I mean, yes, if you wanna buff it all over the face, which I'm pretty sure you can do. I mean, like we can even try right here on my forehead. Yeah, because you see, it's not like a huge highlighter. You can build intensity. So for buffing it, it's fine. But if you're intending to use it as just highlighter and build intensity, then I will suggest another type of brush. Do I love it that they have included in here? Yes, but definitely it's not for free. <laughs> and here we have it, the price. Usually a Chanel highlighter from the limited edition, like this one right here, this one is limited edition, usually costs $70. And it comes usually with the half moon brush. Mm, this highlighter right here costs $80. And yes, we have seen an increase on many Chanel products from bags and I mean, you name it. Chanel has increased their prices all over the place. Even with these new Rouge Lestre lipsticks, although it's new, they didn't launch it with the regular price of other Chanel lipsticks, which are usually, I think, $45, $47, I don't remember. It's actually $55 for a new lipstick from Chanel, at least the Rouge L'Estre, and then the refill is $45. So going back right here to this highlighter, it is $80. So, okay, maybe the highlighter itself is $70, and then the brush is $10. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hope. Um, well, let's be realistic. Okay. Um, we all know at what point the world is at right now. Let's don't dig in too much. So we shouldn't be surprised that things are just going to increase in price all over the place. Do I'm um, just defying that? I mean, we definitely, you know, we buy whatever we want to buy. So if we allow brands to increase the price or not, they're going to do it regardless and then it just depends on you if you want to keep consuming from them or not to me i'm really happy with the product that i receive from the presentation that beautiful embossing to the most important part the formulation performance the shade stunning i still have to say although le blanc from chanel is usually geared towards the asian market um i wish if they are going to bring it here to the United States, they can do another shades too. But regardless, it's a beautiful highlighter. And yeah, most likely I'm going to end up getting a second one 
for collector pieces because honestly the embossing is just exquisite and continue talking with the Leblanc collection I will also love to know from you if you're interested for me to review the eyeshadow quad it feels to me I have tried that formulation and I know it's very subtle very subdued it seems like the shades are gonna be a little too light for me and honestly I'm just looking forward to seeing the tweed collection <clears throat> you didn't hear it from me but I'm sure many of you know um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. If you decide that, yes, you want to see a full review, let me know. I will be happy to pick it up. And then I will pick up, obviously, the highlighter pens. Um, there's two of them. Also, some of the lipsticks, which are from the Rouge Coco Flash line. Also, the Rouge Allure. Let me know if you want to see the full LeBlanc 2022 collection on review. Okay, my friends. And I think this makes it for this video. I hope that you found it informative, helpful. Let me know if you already did your pre-order. If you are planning to pick up this highlighter or not. Like I was telling you, this is not only a highlighter, but you can definitely use it as a finishing powder if you use this brush and just buff it. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.